we investigated the famous Muddles Plantation, which is known to be America's most haunted home, as known by the Smithsonian Institution. This is Real Paranormal Investigation, Paranormal Investigation of the Myrtles Plantation in St. Francisville, Louisiana. None of the evidence you'll see in this video are neither hoaxed, camera trickery, or faked in any way, shape, or form. The history of the South will always provide us with tales of romance and mystery, the saga of the antebellum South, and a lifestyle that will never be forgotten lives on at this grand mansion. A first glimpse of the mansion with its magnificent double dahmers and lacy grill works of the 120 foot veranda envelops one with complete sense of peace and tranquility. Relax on the giant rockers on the 120 foot veranda are strolled through the lush 10 acres filled with majestic live oaks. The 5,000 square foot brick courtyard is the perfect place to unwind. However, there is another side to the story. William Winters died from a gunshot blast to the chest from an unknown horseman who rode up to the house calling out, Gentlemen, need for a lawyer. After being shot, William stumbled to the house calling his wife Sarah's name. He made it up the steps to the 17th step where he fell into his wife's arm and died from blood loss from his wounds. This is the sitting room to the Judge Clark Woodruff Suite. The door to the right is an actual bedroom. Is that a person going to stand? No. Where's the guy from? As I promised kids, I have something special for you. At this point here is where he caught one of our best EVPs. We'll take a listen. I have something special for you. I have something special for you. For you. 
when we reverse the audio and play it backwards, which should not be possible, we get a different saying. As you notice, we're having problems with our infrared. Our night vision camera started having unpredictable problems that we could not explain. As you notice, we started getting hits on our uh, EMF detectors and our trifield meters. We really had no luck other than the trifold meter going off for a couple of times when the ball was in front of the meters. After a while, everything quieted down and we left the room and left the ball with the meters and the camera on it. Came back and saw that nothing had happened. So we move on. Later that night, we venture outside and found that we have a beautiful full moon, which is known to increase spirit activity. At this point, we went out into the night for a couple of hours, but did not know what we actually captured. So we went on to bed. I was awakened to a loud knocking noise on the French room door, which is permanently locked because of the priceless antiques. So I get up to investigate. As I move the tripod, and you'll hear me set the tripod down, right after I set the tripod down, you'll hear a loud knock. As I move the camera back towards the bed, you see that light go off on top of the mantle of the fireplace. That is my remote infrared motion detector. I'm just going to let this camera roll. So that 
you need to hear what I hear. I mean, that something that bumped up against that door hard. I let that camera roll for the rest of the night. And did not get anything after the pounding noise. With the exception of another surprise that I will show you. Now this chandelier is 175 to 200 pounds chandelier. The air conditioner is no way you can move that. I can't tell. It is. It ain't moving like it was before, but... No, before, it was moving wildly in a huge circle. This room feels colder than usual. It's always been cool. Can anybody speak to me? It just blinked. When I asked, can anybody speak to me? It just blinked. I said, to ask you, yes. Say something to me. Now, there are several times that the chandelier blinked in direct answer to my question. Who are you? Speak as loud as you can. The camera can pick you up. Camera and microphone can pick you up. Does it bother you that we come here and we take pictures? Can you spin the, can you move the chandelier even more? The lights just dimmed.
Who's that there? Who's that there? That's the French room. I just want to talk to a spirit. Will you come talk to me? Are you the one who moved my chandelier? Come talk to me. Well, that was somebody, the footsteps that you heard came from the French room, which the lights on. I looked underneath the door and there was nobody there. And look, the light's doing it again. Are you in here again? Will you move the chandelier? Oh boy, it's cold in here. The 1.2 in the French room, 75.4 in my room. It is very rare to hear an EVP with your own ears. Most time you only hear it through your own recorder. And I know you're a boy. And I know you're a boy. And I know you're a boy. I have something special for you. This is the reversal of the previous recording.
This is the reversal of the previous recording. This is the reversal of the previous recording. This is the reversal of the previous recording. This is the reversal of the previous recording. Yeah. 